Um, yeah, it'll be the best part of the talk, right? Um, as it says uh, there, this is going to be a presentation on uh, PHP. Uh, we're not going to get real technical. We're going to keep it pretty quick. Um, if there's any questions along the way, just shoot your hand up. Uh, I like to keep it interactive. This isn't a, uh, a lecture. Um, we're going to go over a quick introduction of, of, of who I am, uh, the security ecosystem as a whole, uh, security, kind of the, the, the pressure points specifically in the PHP world, um, some best practices to, to, to mitigate those pressure points, um, look at other factors, um, and then some conclusions. Um, so obviously we all know what uh, PHP is, otherwise hopefully you wouldn't be here. Um, I started New York PHP uh, in 2001. Uh, my name is Hans Onair, as I sh showed on the uh, first slide. Uh, the name of this presentation was The Fundamentals of uh, Security in PHP. Um, the, the funny spelling is due to uh, our own little project called The Fundamentals, which was an uh, ongoing guide of kind of best practices, not only for security, um, but just for general development best practices. Um, as I said, this isn't a real technical talk. Um, this is not a one of those things type of talks. Um, there's a lot of good talks out there given by some people in this room, uh, including somebody who's not in this room but recently gave this uh, at the ZenCon out in California. Um, they have a lot of good resources, a lot of code that you can cut and paste um, and see if you can, uh, uh, if you're susceptible to some of these issues or how you can prevent them. Uh, again, these details will not be, be covered, so uh, if this is what you were looking for, I apologize, but um, if there's any questions along the way, I can do my best to, uh, to answer them as well. Um, so I think we all have to kind of step back, and there's been a lot of complex talks today and a lot of different things, a lot of different topics, a lot of different compliance topics, uh, a lot of different technologies involved. Um, at the end of the day, when you're dealing on the web, or usually now on the internet, you're using one protocol, and there's a certain attributes to this protocol uh, that are, make conferences like this possible, among, among other things. So um, I think it's, it's good to remember that uh, PHP, like any other language or any other web technology, um, is vulnerable to um, the same things that all other languages are, are vulnerable to. Um, PHP gets a lot of flack. Um, it's kind of infamously the insecure little stepchild uh, of the web. Um, but really, you know, security fundamentals are common across the board. There's, there's no different, uh, as the, the last slide just showed, we're, we're all working in the same playing field. Um, there's different environments, have different types of requirements. So if you're on the desktop versus the web, obviously there's, there's two very different security. Um, but we're all on the web here. This is why, which is why we're here. Um, so there's a lot of external factors that need to be um, dealt with and, and uh, understood. Um, I've joined a couple uh, speakers uh, throughout the day, and there was a lot of uh, talking about browser vulnerabilities, um, issues with different uh, certi certificates, SSL. Um, there isn't one language that, that can solve all those different problems and, and shouldn't try to solve all those different problems. Um, the developer is responsible for those, not the, not the language. Um, every language has its own pros and cons and idiosyncrasies on, on how to deal with these, these challenges and these problems. Um, some are better in some ways, some are worse in, in other ways. Um, but PHP is just one of those ways of dealing with it, and it certainly has its own idiosyncrasies as, as all others do. Um, PHP is no different. Um, there are some exceptions to that. One is that it's very, very popular and is very, very easy to use, um, which is kind of a good and a bad thing. It's the yin and yang of, of PHP. Um, it gets a bad, bad rap because it's so easy for somebody who really has no programming, programming experience to get in there and, and start uh, banging out code, putting applications on, online. Uh, the second which you, you do so, you're opening up yourself to all the same vulnerabilities that everybody else has. Uh-oh. Guess my backup failed. Um, it wasn't PHP's fault, though. Um, so, <laughs> the, you know, it, it's, again, it's, it's PHP's greatest strength and, and biggest weakness. And this is going to be a, a recurring uh, theme throughout the, uh, throughout the presentation. Now, I will be the first to admit that PHP has made mistakes. And everybody 
has made mistakes and all technologies will continue to make mistakes, otherwise we'd all be out of work. Um, some of those things specifically, uh, it's very easy for new programmers or non-programmers uh, to have too much power. Um, it's, PHP is an extremely forgiving language. You can throw stuff together and sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't work. Uh, when it does work, unless you know what you're doing, you probably have opened up a whole bunch of holes for yourself. Um, but I think that's probably the same for anything. Um, the default configuration over the years has gotten better. Uh, it's still not great. Um, the, the infamous magic of PHP, there's all these magic settings, magic functions, escape magic variables. Um, that's, <laughs> for better or for worse, uh, black magic and, and, and a, bad, a bad thing to, to depend on. Uh, and the PHP group um, sometimes is, is accommodative of, of fixing security flaws, um, but they often question what really is a security flaw and what's bad programming and being sloppy. Um, the debate rages on and, and probably will for a long time, but but uh, PHP is very much a do-it-yourself platform, and if you know how to program, it will be a very strong platform. If you don't, uh, I feel bad for you. Um, I think uh, Bizarre uh, from C++ World summed it up the best. Um, I mean, that says it all. There's, I don't have to read that, uh, read that to you. Um, if you do it right, you're, you have a lot of great abilities. If you do it wrong, you're going to lose a leg. Um, so what are some of the specific um, I hope my this is probably going to lock up on me. Um, so, so, you know, what are some of the, the, the zones of responsibility for for security and specifically in PHP? Um, what, how do they kind of all fit together? Uh, PHP is largely it's a scripting language, but its real power comes from wrapping libraries and wrapping uh, external libraries and wrapping external data sources. Excuse me. Um, there's a lot of dependencies that it has. Um, each each uh, interface that it has and every place it, it interacts with something else, um, there's a, a potential of a security problem. And it really is not the responsibility of the programmer in any language, or I'm sorry, of the, of the language in, in any technology to, to mitigate all of those. It's the responsibility of the programmer, just like in any other, uh, in any other platform. Uh, I think probably the number one uh, problem with PHP and uh, the number one rap that it's uh, the bad rap that it's gotten, uh, as I've mentioned uh, previously, is it's very easy to write bad code. Um, so going back to the previous quote here, it's very easy to blow your whole leg off, and in fact, probably more than your more than your leg. Um, it's uh, easy for people to jump in, use these magic functions to try to uh, manipulate variables in a very sloppy uh, way, not respecting scope. Uh, not respecting your data source, not respecting where your data is going to. Um, and while that's made PHP extremely successful and, and driven its growth over the years to the to point where uh, Yahoo and Facebook and many other l very large sites use it dependably, um, it's, it's also gotten it a, a bad name. And, and I think if there's one thing that uh, I want people to get out of this talk is that uh, it's not the language, it's the, the developer which is always somebody's famous last words, right? 